If you're just getting started with brazing and you're teaching yourself, this video has basic brazing tips. And then at the end of the video, there are links to other YouTube videos that I've done on brazing. This is 5 16 inch mild steel rod. Heating it with the oxygen acetylene torch. Moving the flame back and forth. What I want to do right here is to bring both pieces to a red hot. I could increase the flame, which would bring it up to the red hot quicker. But for this demonstration, I want to leave the flame right here. And as you can see now, both pieces are getting red hot. Now this is the optimum color. And I'll put the brazing rod in between the torch flame and the metal to be brazed. It'll melt right down in that crevice. And here I'm just moving the bronze. The filler rod that is already melted, just moving it on down that crevice with the flame. When the piece is cool and wire brushed, this is what it looks like. Now this is an example of the metal to be braves not being hot enough. In other words, not getting it up to the red hot. Just as an example here, you can see what happens. The bronze on the brazing rod melts, but it just slides right off because the base metal is not hot enough to accept the bronze, the brazing rod. So what I'll end up here with is just globs. Now, once the globs are on there, all is not lost because these can be melted and bringing the base metal, the two 5 16 inch rods, up to a red hot, then the globs of bronze can be remelted and they'll flow right into that crevice. Course, it's much better if you can get the pieces red hot to start with but if you end up with these globs melted bronze it just hasn't adhered to the 5 16 inch rods you can heat the whole thing up and begin to melt those globs so that you end up with a decent braise By remelting those globs and getting the base metal up to a red hot so it will accept the bronze and then running the torch back and forth, it will end up as a decent braze. And here is the third example. In this case, getting the base metal or the metal to be brazed too hot. You can see the rods are beginning to go to red hot. And now the metal has gone beyond the red hot into a yellow hot and then actually will go into a white hot. And the base metal, the 5 16 inch rods are beginning to melt. And this is just way too hot to braise. When your base metal or the metal to be brazed gets too hot so that it becomes molten this is the results that you can expect. You can get a better idea of what it looks like with this enlarged photo. What we want ideally is this glowing red. 
so that it is red hot. Right here is perfect for braising. Now if I continue to heat this, it's going to go from the red hot into a yellow and then into a white and at the white it will become molten so that the steel is actually melting. Right here I'm still at the yellow stage but you can see the spark starting to come off. And when the sparks come off that is molten steel. So we have the red hot. It's when the metal is ready to accept the brazing. And we have when it's too hot. So it begins to melt. And then we have this where the base metal is not hot enough. So the metal will not accept the brazing rod. We get these little globs. Just don't stick very well to the base metal.